All right, so we're here at the NVIDIA booth, CES 2009. NVIDIA has come out with their ION platform. They've found a way to combine a 9400 NVIDIA GPU with an Intel Atom processor in this tiny little box. And we've heard, all heard all sorts of wild um, claims about the new ION platform. And I'm here with Mark, who's going to give us a little bit more idea about what this platform is capable of. Mark? Please. So, what we have here is, is the ION. It's on what's called a Pico ITX form factor, four inches by three inches. And in the palm of my hand, I have a complete PC. If you toss a hard drive on there, that's the kind of thickness you're talking about for, for the PCs with incredible performance. This is uh, right now in the form of a reference PC that we've designed, but this isn't the only home that you can see this in. Netbooks are a great application, uh, desktops, small ones like this that you see in my hand, but we've heard about other places such as car PCs or in the back of an all-in-one PC. The great thing about this is that uh, it offloads so much of the compute intensive uh, tasks from the Atom CPU that you can start doing things on netbooks that you never could before. You can play Call of Duty for, uh, well right now, 37 frames per second without breaking a sweat. You can watch high resolution HD 1080p movies without you know, seeing above 10% on the CPU utilization. You can use the latest operating systems with all the premium features like Vista and Windows 7, again, without in any way seeing, uh, seeing the artifacts. Really, what I find amazing is, I mean, those netbook owners out there, as you know, you are not going to sit down with your netbook, open it up, start up Call of Duty 4, and see anything greater than just a slideshow. And before you know it, you're on the ground looking at the ceiling in a pool of your own blood, okay? And what we have here is Call of Duty playing at with fraps, which you, as you all know, is taking a good amount of those frames out of the picture. So 37, 38, 40 frames per second on this box with an Atom CPU. I find it amazing that you can even play no loss of quality. I mean, you can see the smoke and stuff rising off the floor. And NVIDIA is not pulling any, any punches here with the video quality, although Mark just died. It's not fair, he was hiding. <laughs> Show us some of that full motion video. Because we have here, to the left, as you see, an Acer Aspire 1, uh, Intel 950 GMA, Atom uh, N N70 CPU, and as you can see, it's little more than a slideshow of the Las Vegas Strip. So this is a 1080p uh, video, relatively, in fact, a very high bit rate, about 40 uh, bits per second. You can see it's, it is struggling to actually perform this. And we chose this video because it's the most intense uh, HD film that we found that uh, could demonstrate kind of the capabilities of this system. I'll bring up the CPU utilization just to, uh, to show that we're hardly even making this thing, uh, making this thing think. So here we are, once it settles out it'll land between 7 and 15 percent of the CPU is utilized, running flawlessly. Now as you can see, the difference between the Acer Aspire 1, which is essentially pretty much the same guts as what's in here, with the exception of the ION platform. And you're getting full, what, 1080p yeah. here? To be fair, this does have a, a dual core atom in it. Um, but again, you can see that the CPU utilization is so low that even if we switch to single core, it wouldn't affect this at all. And I'm seeing here 40, 40 megabits per second. That is just amazing. I can't wait to see this find a home in a netbook available for consumer purchase. Uh, this just screams home theater experience all over it. Stick one of these behind the wall in a bookcase. Nobody would even know it's there. And, and your options right now are to buy a small form factor PC, you know, pretty much about this size. It says PC all over it. You, you gotta worry about cables coming out all over the place, powering it, the heat, everything. I can put my hand on it, it's cold. I don't feel a thing. The other great thing that I love about this for HTPC is it's not only can it process all the video that we showed today, it has an HDMI uh, capable port on the back with full 8-channel uh, LPCM audio. So you can drive 
the biggest audio setups possible on something this size and at, at price points unheard of before. So again, speaking more about the price point, please. What exactly do you expect to see a finalized product come out? You know, mom and pop can go to, to their local shop or order online from Dell. No ifs, ands, or buts, or you know, having to worry about what's actually in it. They just buy a pre-configured unit, comes with yeah. the operating system. No technical know-how. Nobody's building their own unit. What what can I expect to see that for? So this is going to range between you know what what you purchase in or do for at a say three fifty to five hundred kind of price points. So and netbook price. Range. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then they've got a pretty much plug and play platform. Stick it in their bookshelf. They're done. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No special requirements on the LCD or anything? None, none whatsoever. Right now, the background that we were running at was uh, 19 by 12, so it's capable of going up to dual DVI 25 by 16. So this this thing this thing can put out some serious. Okay, so what's the compromise for the consumer? The compromise? There is no. I mean, I, honestly, I, I struggle to think of it. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I think it's awesome. I can't wait to see this product actually make it onto the store shelves. Um, We'll bring you more coverage from, from CES 2009. Stay tuned.